Hi all, so you've now got your laser pecker 4 all set up. You've got the hood there, you can plug this in. But why don't we plug in the unit first? But for the purposes of this presentation, I'm going to remove the hood so you can see what's going on. It's magnetic, so easy to uh, put it back on if need be, or remove it. Once you've plugged in the LP4, you then need to go to your mobile device, so it can be Android or uh, Apple here. So I am currently recording on my um, Android phone. So I've got my iPad here. I've gone to the LaserPecker website. And from here, if you go to support and software download, you should get a web page about um, downloading the software or apps be it on the PC or the mobile on the mobile you've got the old app for Android or iOS and down below here you've got the laser pecker design space app for also Android and iOS so if we tap on iOS we can see it's iOS version 503 if you're watching this later it could be a later version and on the right hand side we have download so if we tap on download this should load up um, the uh, Apple Play Store or Apple um, App Store uh, with the LaserPecker design space showing also the version history and then you can download it. I've already downloaded it but uh, I've deleted it so I have this uh, icon here. Um, you may have open or install so I'm just going to tap that so it's now installing it now i can tap open and the app opens what the app requires is access to your bluetooth because that's the way um, the app communicates with uh, the laser pecker uh, unit um, so click on ok also just agree to the privacy notices um, very very similar to things like Google, um, even uh, Facebook, even your App Store. Um, once you're in, what you need to do is connect. So here it'll say click to connect to your LP. You tap there. Bluetooth device connection will pop up and you should see your device appear. It'll say not connected. Tap on it. You heard the beep and now you're connected. As this will be your first time, you'll be faced with um, this uh, login screen where you enter your email address and a password. This password will be to unlock your um, LP device. It's a security device so no one can just pick it up with an app and play with it. Um, so put in something memorable it doesn't it isn't something highly secure so you can put in one two three four five six or six five four three two one which is mine or zero 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 but when you first come to this page if you haven't already registered a device you'd want to go to registration so if you tap on registration You'll say you first need to agree to the um, to terms and conditions, which are down here. So just tap on that. This also agrees. This also applies to if you've already registered. Um, but let's just go through this. Here you'll enter your email address. Once you've entered the email address, click on send verification code. Um, the LaserPacker servers will send you a verific verification code, and then you can enter it along with your um, uh, email address and um, you should come back to I think a page like this but this is um, for those who've registered here so I will just enter my address um, my address is one which doesn't get spammed a lot um, And I already told you my password and login. So once you've logged in, 
you'll be faced with four sections, the album, the camera, create and clip up. Album will go to your photo album. Um, you'll need, the app will need access to all your pictures, but you can say only a few or don't allow. If you don't allow, then the app can't access any images on your iPad or iPhone. Same with Android as well. So always access to all. Um, and you've got all the pictures. Camera, that's the same thing, allow access. So this is now the screen back here. Um, or I can turn it around and you can, oh, uh, I put the lens cover there so you can't see that. Um, I'll cancel. Clip art, it's just um, some examples of clip art. Um, quite a few, but not many. A lot more you can get on the internet and what you can do when you've downloaded onto your device um, you can click on the plus add it and it'll be within this custom clip art area main area you want to work with is create so when you click on create you'll be presented with this screen here this um, yellow oval is the working area then down here you've got image where you can load images from your device text so you can um, just enter text so I can just do uh, hello tick there it is if I want to change the font just tap on font and from here um, you can select what's there or um, you can load various other custom fonts uh, at the moment, the iOS app is a little behind the Android app, um, but you will have an additional button here, I think, to add them. Else, what you can do is share the fonts uh, from the system of your um, iPad or iPhone. If you look that up, this is something which uh, many apps require you to do, is to log into the system uh, and share the fonts. Um, instead of uh, this font which I added, you've got material, so this is in fact um, the example clip art, so if I tap on there you can see um, the clip art which is included. Shapes allows you to enter any shapes, graffiti just allows you to scribble, tap, there you go get rid of that um, and then edit is just additional items which pop up for whatever you've uh, already added to the platform settings um, so you can change from inches to millimeters or millimeters to inches you can show or hide the grid I always leave the grid on very useful uh, various other settings are in this cog up here so you can have the beep coming on free mode which means uh, it's not going to bug you too much with security issues uh, third axis button unlock meaning the buttons on the top uh, batch engraving button red light um, main reason for the red light is when you use the 10064 nanometer uh, laser there is no visible light so that's very useful um, axis rotation is the chuck Rotary slide table is for the slide extension. Um, I don't know what the power of laser is. Um, I'll have to look that up. Automatic Bluetooth connection means that once you load up the app and the um, LP4 unit, they will try to find each other and automatically um, connect. Um, at the bottom is your firmware version. Um, but if you come to the main page, you also have user here where you can see various other settings, uh, your unit plus various other um, useful settings there as well. Uh, there's a community where you can share your engravings um, or your creations. There's also a very useful guide. So... This is very much related currently to uh, the LP2, but a lot of things are very, very similar to the LP4 in how things work. 
Uh, let's see what's under featured. I haven't clicked on that before. So let's tap on wood. It's actually showing some posts as where wood has been used. So some are mine. So I did these, I did that. Quite a few of them are mine, in fact, uh, which have been included as examples. So if we go back home, we'll now do our very first engraving. Tap on create. What I'll do is bring in, why don't we bring in something from here? Uh, what could be nice? Why don't we bring in this? And down here, you'll see it's a width of five centimeters, height of 4.3 uh, um, centimeters. Yeah, these are shown in millimeters. Uh, if you want to change the ratio, you can tap on the padlock that unlocks it. Um, you can change uh, the location. Um, there will be a um, an alignment. So if you do move things such as there, you can tell it to go back into the middle um, on Android that's there already. But let's do our first um, engraving. Let's do this both on a card so and some wood. This is some of my own old wood I've got. Um, let's do uh, the 10064 laser first. So I'm just going to place it in there. I'm going to do a preview. It's really that simple. You load something up, do a preview. And you'll see the light comes up. I always recommend to reduce it down to minimum um, straight away. Wear your goggles as well, just in case it's too bright. Um, what you can do is increase it slightly so you can see where the alignment is. But one of the things I haven't done is dealt with the height. Now you may not see quite clearly here, but there is a little red light here. If I raise this card, you'll see that two dots appear. So as I go down, forms one and now it's come to two again. So I need to lower this until I only see one dot. Okay, I think that looks about right. A black card always helps, as you can see when I move this up and down. Okay, not quite. Let's see. There we go. Once I've got the one dot, I can now ensure I'm aligned up. So what I'm going to do is increase the brightness. So I can see a bit better. We're aligned. I'm going to decrease again. I am now going to put my ventilation in place. You can obviously use your hood um, um, with a hose venting outside. This is linked to my inline fan. Um, and what I'll do now is turn that on. Now that I've got this aligned, I can do next. It's going to ask me what's resolution. Let's stick with one. It's going to transfer the file. Now it's going to ask me what I want to do. So I want to use the 10064 laser. Tap on that. Um, there should be some choices here. So metal oxide, or you could use um, paint it's here where is it um, they don't have that here so metal oxide hopefully they'll add some more now I know for these I get away with um, 112 as depth and one pass so let's start that and you can have a look so start and off it goes
and yes I am wearing my uh, safety goggles normally I'd have either a shield around it or even just cardboard around um, I only do this um, for the benefit of the video and I am in fact shielding myself and not looking at the engraving I'm looking at my mobile at the moment so it's nearly done 87, 90 percent and there we go it's done so nice card nicely done so now let's actually do on wood so I go back I can leave exactly the same but now I'm going to preview again preview I'm gonna move it top left then next what resolution I'm gonna leave it as one now I want to do wood now I know my woods relatively light so the default whilst it will work I know I need to increase it a bit so it's on depth 5 um, I'll put it to maybe 8 so 108 um, for 60 nanometers so that's the blue laser uh, for things like wood put my goggles back on and this will now produce some smoke uh, so it's good to have the um, um, evacuation on so let's start that goes And again, you can see the progress here. You can see the various statistics. You can also see um, how long it's taking. On the Android one, it also has time remaining. Um, and hopefully that comes to the iOS app as well. So nearly at the end, and it's finished. And there we go. Quite a nice engraving. Um, if I'd done it, uh, in terms of a lower depth, this certainly would not be as nice as it is. So, as you can see, you've now done your first two engravings. Um, pretty simple, as you can see, just to get set up. Load in a picture. I mean, I can show you, just load from the album here. Um, anything here, so I've got various other ones, uh, things that I've done, so this particular logo. Uh, with the name inside it just loaded up now all I need to do is just do a preview um, and then go through all these steps set up and then it can go through to engraving not too complicated um, not too many settings it's one of the good things about this um, however yes if you want to do um, a few more complicated things you can do within uh, the more um, when the app gets enhanced you certainly get that within the Android app um, and certainly you can do that within Lightburn but those will be for another uh, video hope you enjoy that any questions let me know please do join us um, as users in the Facebook user group uh, for the laser pecker 4 where we can help you with more questions and even some more demos uh, thank you again and please do subscribe um, for the next videos.